To be honest, my voice actually sounds quite differently. Besides, I have to make an incredible effort to speak with this Persian accent. Hi guys, Julian here. I'm back with the fifth episode of the weekly guitar meeting at this Disneyland for guitars, Zika's guitars. A new customer who was recently in our shop uh, has said this. I hope you enjoyed the last week's weekly guitar meeting and thanks for all the comments. And now we will jump straight into reading comments. Ross Jill 6 wrote, I've never understood why Kono guitars are priced so low. They sound great and have beautiful materials. Even very old ones are priced low. I don't get it. I totally agree. Um, a few people have written comments about the Kono guitars. Maybe I can read another one. Terence Sotiri, Sotiri has written, those 70s, 80s Kono guitars are crazy. Maybe the sound is a bit old fashioned for today, but what a tone, what a quality construction. Yeah, the Kono guitars sound really rich and very colorful, but uh, somehow they are underrated. And I really, to be honest, I don't know what the reason is. If someone knows the reason, Please let me know. The next comment comes from Invi69. <laughs> Bro, there are people of all flavors. Oh, all the love, man. Of course. And uh, that's the beautiful thing about this world. Imagine there are only guitars made by Daniel Friedrich in this world. It would be very boring. Even if the guitars are really good, you still need different colors, different smells, different woods. Konstantin Ridaya writes, please bring back the background music. That was the best part. I cannot make everyone happy. It's not possible. I mean, he is just kidding. Gypsy Panda writes, you have a thick, sexy Persian accent. To be honest, my voice actually sounds quite differently. Besides, I have to make an incredible effort to speak with this Persian accent. But people say it suits me better than my original voice. And besides, the ladies really seem to like it. Yeah, and now back to the real life. The next comment is by C. Karu 420. The only regret I have about my guitar, which I bought from Zikas in April, was that I don't have a YouTube video of you reviewing it. I would have loved to know what you thought about it. Can I bring it back for a review? Of course, but I cannot guarantee that I don't do scratches on your guitar. As you may know, we have a lot of incredible guitars on our website and we don't have a review for each guitar because we started this weekly guitar meeting format uh, a few weeks ago. And one of our customers had a very good idea and asked if we can do a review of a guitar, which you can find on our website. Of course, we can do it. You can write down in the comments the guitar which you want to see a review of it. And the comment or the guitar with the most thumbs up will be reviewed. And let's start with the guitars of this week because we have uh, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, Cinco? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight guitars. The first guitar of this week is made by Marie Loquin. She was born in Belgium in 1986, so she is quite young. She had a general scientific and medical background, but at a certain stage of her career, she moved to England and started to study at instrument making school. And this beautiful guitar is from 2022. We have a spruce top and bocote, bucket, bocon, bocote, back and sides. It has a seven fan bracing, which is very similar to the guitars of Daniel Friedrich. And yeah, let's see how it sounds because it's the most important thing of a guitar. 
I think the most obvious thing on this guitar is the sustain. It's really long. I think also the colors of the guitar are very beautiful. And the guitar is quite loud. I don't know if you can hear the loudness of the guitar through the YouTube video and the microphones. But here in this room, it's a very powerful guitar. What do you think? I will also play some tones in the higher positions. Also a very good sustain even in these positions. Wow, it's also very easy to play um, because I have the feeling that there are very good spaces between the strings and it makes the guitar really easy to play for me. Great guitar! Let's move to the next one. This guitar is a beauty. It's made by one of the most well-known and outstanding German guitar luthiers, Andreas Kirchner. Andreas Kirchner works very closely with the professional classical guitarists to understand their ideas and expectations of a very good instrument. And you can feel and hear that in this instrument or in his instruments. This is a double top model from 2022. We have a cedar top and Indian rosewood back and sides. It is so beautiful. It's very detailed. The polishing is very clean. It looks for me like a perfect instrument. It's such a powerful guitar and the response of this guitar 
is one of the strongest and fastest uh, I have ever seen. It's an amazing guitar and it sounds also very warm and smooth. So congrats to Andreas Kirchner for such a creature. The next guitar, as you can guess, is a flamenco guitar and it's made by Francisco Barba from Sevilla. Francisco Barba started to work as a carpenter, but after that time he visited guitar making schools and famous luthiers in Spain. Now he is one of the most successful guitar luthiers in the modern flamenco guitar making world. And this beautiful guitar is from 2022. We have a spruce top with eight fan bracing and maple back and sides. So I cannot play this guitar like a classical guitar. I have to make some changes. <laughs> It has this typical beautiful flamenco tone in it. It's not as sharp as a traditional flamenco guitar. It's much more uh, rounded and smooth, but the response of the guitar and the tone color is really amazing. I think this is a very beautiful sounding guitar. The tone is really, yeah, that Spanish sound which you expect from a flamenco guitar. But the response of the guitar is very good and it's not too sharp. It's, um, yeah, as I already said, it's very smooth. And this is the maple version of this guitar. And the next guitar which I'm going to show you is the Cypress variation of this guitar.
This beautiful guitar is made by Gamaliel Jacobi. It's from 1945 and it has the number 34. Gamaliel Jacobi was born in Italy, but then he moved to Barcelona. He started there to making guitars and in 1949 he moved to Argentina with his son Jose Jacobi who had a big influence in the South American guitar making school. This guitar has a very beautiful spruce and bird's eye mahogany back and sides. It's very light. I have never played a guitar made by Gamaliel Jacopi and I am very curious about the sound of this guitar. To be honest, this is the biggest surprise for me in this year. Um, and it's the first time that I am playing this guitar. And this guitar reminds me a little bit of Daniel Friedrich guitars in terms of details and uh, sounding very clean in all positions. And uh, Wow, I am missing words. <laughs> Wow, I don't want to say much about this guitar. I want you to hear the sound and to judge the sound of this guitar by yourself. As I said, it is for me the biggest surprise in this year. Or maybe the biggest surprise was that I've got a job in Sika's guitars. I don't know which is bigger. This beautiful guitar is also a vintage one. This is made by Paul Fischer. Paul Fischer brought up in the city of Oxford and he also studied at the Oxford College of Art and Technology. And there are a lot more interesting information about all these guitar luthiers which you can find on our website. Because of our time limitation, I'm going straight into the guitar sound and the specs of the guitars. And this guitar is from 1980 and it has the number 390. We have a spruce top and Brazilian rosewood back and sides. It's not the lightest guitar, but I think 
this guitar will have a very long sustain because usually if if a guitar is a bit heavier in comparison to other guitars the sustain is always a bit longer yeah let's see how it sounds Very nice sound. Very beautiful tone and you can push the guitar to the limits. It still sounds really good and doesn't lose the quality of the sound and buzzing. Okay. But it's my technique. Yeah, please let me know in the comments um, how these guitars sound for you. Because I hear the guitar from this side and for me maybe they sound a bit different than what you are hearing. Yeah, I'm very curious about your opinion about the guitars. This guitar is one of my favorite uh, guitars in our shop at the moment. And this is made by Manuel Reyes. Manuel Reyes was born in Granada in 1934. First, he started restoring guitars. But at a certain stage of his career, he started to visiting guitar making schools and visiting some famous Spanish luthiers to learn how to make the guitars properly. And he is now one of the most uh, respected flamenco guitar luthiers worldwide. And uh, his guitars has that typical Andalusian flamenco sound. This guitar is from 1979. It has a spruce top and Brazilian rosewood back and sides. Yeah, I can't wait to play on it. long sustain and a beautiful tone the colors of this guitar are amazing you have so many colors
Wow, amazing guitar. The last guitar of this week is made by one of the most famous German companies which make handmade guitars, Armin Hanika. This guitar is called HE Taurus Cedar model. They have different models and uh, this model is from 2022. And we have a spruce top and very beautiful cocobolo back and sides. And um, yeah, let's see how it sounds. It's a very powerful and loud guitar with a great response. And you have a very typical cedar sound and a very detailed tone. It was the last guitar of this week. Don't forget to write down in the comments your favorite guitar which you want to have a review of for the next week. So the comment or the guitar with the most thumbs up, I will review that guitar. I hope you enjoyed the weekly guitar meeting for this week. Please let me know which guitar was for you the best sounding one and in general how do you rate the sound of these guitars. So. Have a good weekend, see you next week.